have to get a new car at the moment too so this is driving me mad like the mechanic said my car is a complete piece of shit it's worthless at the moment it's falling apart he's surprised it hasn't exploded on me the brake pads are pretty much not there so it's like super unsafe to drive i really need to get a new car that's like a big thing that's stressing me out i've been seeing a therapist again um the therapist that i had on the hoffman process she's amazing absolutely amazing and she understands like my history and my story and my relationship with um, particular family members that I'm trying to work on that relationship. And just recently there's been so many things happen with that particular person that I just, I want to be able to have a healthy, happy, loving relationship with this person in my life. I want this person in my life. Yeah, you know, we're all humans. We're all going through ups and downs constantly and how beautiful like I'm so thankful for those challenges and for that resistance because I know that's where the growth happens like think of a butterfly in the cocoon right like it needs that resistance it needs to be able to break free so that it knows that its wings are capable of flying so that it's strong enough um, and that resistance is the most important part of any kind of transition or evolution or growth or expansion we're planning retreats this year so i have one upcoming in byron april 3rd until 6th there's only a couple of spots left maybe not even by the time you see this video um but there are a couple of spots left and a couple is in depending on who books whether you book like a solo room or um in a group or coming solo but it like ready and willing to meet other people and to be paired with them in a in a room um, not in the same bed, you'd have your own bed, but yeah. So there's, there's that we're doing Peru again in November, November 18th until 26th, I think it is. So we're doing seven days, six nights, which is the longest one that we're offering. Um, and considering that it's like double the length, it's not double the price. So that one's very exciting. And Peru is just magical. Like we decided to do this one again as soon as we were there. Like we booked this one in when we were doing our last retreat because it was such a powerful and magical and magnetic. Like the land itself, the mountains, the Andes are just, there's something so inexplainable about being there in the presence of such vastness and just feeling so wonderfully little in comparison that's just indescribable. That space is magic. So we still have spots on that one. And then we're also trying to plan a mid-year, probably like July, August, September-ish, um, Europe retreat, European retreat, and we're thinking Greece. So we're trying to find the location. That's what we're really struggling with because everything's so expensive there and we don't wanna have to hitch up the prices that much. So we're doing the best that we can, but it's just taking a lot longer than we planned because we wanted to have that launched in like January and it's now almost March. So bear with us, but we are trying our absolute best and we're onto it every single day. The website's pretty much ready. We just need to find the location and then add in like the photos. So there's that. And what else? Oh, I'm going to Cambodia with my mom. We're going um, on a Habitat for Humanity build, which is super exciting. So this is actually one that we were going to do in Nepal 2020. So literally like three days before we were supposed to fly out to Nepal, you know what happened, right? Everyone knows what happened. The world just completely shut down and we were unable to go. And so we've had this like waiting, this trip. That one was going to be for International Women's Day and in honor of her past mother. So my grandma, my Oma is what we called her. Um, and they, yeah, they were like best friends, my mom and her, her mom. So my Oma, my grandma. Um... And so that was going to be like her birthday in honor of International Women's Day as well. This one won't be around those same dates, but still very, very excited to go and to be a part of this and, and to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with my mum in that capacity, especially like doing something that we both, like we both really enjoy being of service. And I think in that way, we can really honor my Oma because she was the most selfless human possibly on the entire planet she was you know, really involved with charities and stuff like that so i think this is the perfect way to honor her so omar this one's for you and 
And then um, we're going to Bali. So Bear and I have both been asked to teach at a festival. It's called the Dream Machine Festival. This isn't a promotion, by the way. Like, I haven't been asked to share this on here. I'm just deciding to share with you so you can get, like, a timeline for what we've got coming up. So this one's June 8th until 12th. It's going to be in Bali. And it's normally, like, a music festival, right? Like, really high-energy kind of festival. And this year, they're integrating more of a wellness approach. So... I'm teaching yoga, Bear's going to be teaching a breathwork class, and there's so many other activities, like it's crazy the amount of activities, some I've never even heard of, like everything from like fruit cutting classes, like to be able to like carve fruit really cool, to like banana leaf weaving classes, like ice baths, saunas, sound healing, like super excited to go. I do have a discount code if you want to go and get $100 off, you can use Sienna 100 Again, I was told to share that on Instagram, not on here. So this is just like a, if you really do want to go, that's a hundred bucks off. Come to Bali in June, 8th until 12th is when we're going to be there. And I'm sure it's going to be so much fun, like so much fun. So then we're going to be in Europe. We're going to do our European retreat, our Greece retreat. Where are all these little flyaways coming from? Our Greece retreat. And then possibly, probably stay around for a little bit. Neither myself or my partner bear drink, but... I've just, I don't know, a song came on the other night and I just imagined just like a little bit wine, red wine tipsy, like on the Amalfi Coast or in Italy or in Spain. I don't know where we were, but I was like, that's an interesting feeling for someone who doesn't drink. Sorry guys, it's a bit overexposed. For someone who doesn't drink to have. But anyway, it seemed really beautiful at the time. Bear and I have just, we think, confirmed the location for Greece, which is so exciting. And so the dates will likely be July 22nd until 27th. So six days, five nights in Greece. So if you're even like slightly interested, hold the date. We may have even launched by the time you see this. So stay updated on my Instagram. That'll be where it all is. There will be a link in my bio to my link tree that will have access to all of the retreats that we're doing over the next couple of, well, over the next year, like over 2023. Um, so check it out there. I'm very excited about this. I am desperately in need of a new car. And so the last couple of weeks, I have been every single day, like looking at cars, researching cars, trying to find the right one. And then I'm trying to do it by myself because I asked my brother for help and I asked my dad for help and they were a little bit of help, but they're both so busy. They were like, you're a big girl, you can do this yourself. And I was like, I can't, I, like I really, really can't. So overwhelming. And so I know now after all the research that I shouldn't get another European car and that because I'm in Australia and they're so popular and they're built in Japan so they're reliably made, I should get a Toyota. But I didn't really like the look of any of the Toyotas and I really wanted an electric car or a hybrid at least. And then I found a Toyota hybrid that I well, like I love the look of it. And I sent it to my dad and my brother being like, I found it, this is the one. And they responded saying like, yeah, but it's from a dealer so you're paying too much even though it's second hand. And I was like, Ugh. like I don't know what to do because I've been carsales.com, like every single possible website that have cars for sale I've been on anyway it's driving me a little bit insane in case you can't see but I'm about to drive home to Newcastle have another tattoo removal appointment so this is kind of how it's going at the moment I'm having this one and this one removed and in comparison to like this one or this one which I'm not getting removed you can see that they are like significantly faded so I have another removal appointment tomorrow and so I'll have to drive down to Newcastle today and because it's at like 10 a.m. and it's like eight hour drive or something like that and I don't want to be doing that at an ungodly hour through the night. Um, I'm also going to be re-renting my house out which is like somewhere on the mid north coast and so I have to go take the keys to the realtor and hope that they can rent it out for me <sighs> and hopefully this time it's a better tenant because that was just... Mind my French, but it was an absolute shit show. Absolute shit show. Just the state that I got it back in, and it was disgusting. Like, it just, 
it broke my heart a little bit to be honest because I put so much effort and love into creating that space to be like a sanctuary for someone I assumed a young female like woman would want to be in it because it was like a pink like pink couch and brown and pink beigey kind of like throughout the whole space and yeah there's like middle-aged man who just been through a divorce went through it and I went by and met him he was illegally subletting out the bottom part which like and then like lied to my face about it which really didn't feel good but other than that he seemed like a nice guy right like he'd just been going through a hard time through divorce but just the state that he left it in was disgusting like that I can't even so much mold and cigarette stains like the pillows I took off the covers and I was like how like how has anyone been sleeping on this or using this and how are you not severely sick and ill from doing so and then there's just like cigarette butts and beer cans and and this is after having a professional cleaner come in I'm really confused about that and he also had like he apparently hired a professional cleaning service to come in and clean, but like everything was so gross. Like I had to go in and deep clean everything. And like even just the items in the house hadn't been wiped down. Like the shelving units had like soot across them, like from how much he was smoking. Really, really gross. And my outdoor couch, which was brand new, I only used it once, like literally sat on it for like 30 seconds and then got up and left. Um, and so it was like brand spanking new. I thought it would be like, and I got like all new cushions and stuff for it, thinking it'd be really nice for someone. What I learned was either don't rent your house out to someone because they will not take care of it, which from a financial perspective just doesn't make sense, which is why I have to rent it out again. Or two, yeah, just like, I don't know. I want to be so much more involved this time throughout the process to make sure that I get the right tenant in there. So that'll be interesting and I'm crossing my fingers that I can find the right person. Anyway, that's what this vlog is going to be about. I'm going to take you to hopefully buy a new car, hopefully trade in my current one so I can get rid of it. And yeah, I guess we'll just see how we go. So I have a long drive. I have to stop in at my house, do some cleaning stuff, um, take the keys to the realtor, even though it's currently a Sunday, put them in like the drop off box so that the realtor can go and do, I don't know what she's gonna do, like an open home, put it online. However it is, I wanna be involved. I have my tidy removal appointment tomorrow. <sighs> I also have a pap smear tomorrow. Ew. <laughs> oh, I've already got the heebie-jeebies. It just, oh, it just, it's such an, <sighs> uncomfortable and bleh, somewhat painful experience I swear to God last time I almost threw up on the lady who was doing it she was a nurse and she like put in you know how they like slide it in and open up the like faucet things or whatever they're called they look like tongs kind of um, and she like snipped I swear to God it felt like she snipped my cervix and I don't know whether that was intentional. I don't know what the hell that was. But I literally, it was so suddenly painful and overwhelming that I felt like I was about to throw up on her. Like I was like full, like trying not to gag. Anyway. Anyway. So I have that again tomorrow and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Wish me luck, RIP. And then I'm probably going to go to Sydney and see if they're... Yeah, there's a, a couple of cars that I'm looking at there of the one that I like. I'll see you soon. I am well aware that this sounds like this entire vlog is just me going to be complaining. And I kind of need to laugh about it because it has been so far. I'm incredibly stressed and I haven't given my nervous system permission or time or space to soften and to be quiet and to find a little bit of respite and stillness and I know that my nervous system is really needing that right now and when it comes down to it I know like the deepest part of my like an unshaken knowingness that everything's perfect and this is all a game 
Like none of this is going to even matter in the end. It's all just little things to keep us occupied in this lifetime. Do you know what I mean? Like little tiny challenges that we chose for ourselves. Like we chose these challenges. And these aren't, like this isn't even, you know, a huge challenge. It's not a death. There's no grief involved. There's no, yeah, like it's, I'm not, it's, when it comes down to it, my nervous system just feels shaken. That's all it is. That's all anything that makes us feel this way is or makes me feel this way is and that's humbling to remember because when you put it into perspective like that you're like it doesn't matter like I either sell my car I don't sell my car I either buy a new car I don't buy a new car it's all divine and it's happening exactly the way that it's supposed to because it is I like that I like that knowingness a lot Alright, I'm pulled over on the side of the highway because that's the third time that's happened and this time there was a truck behind me and it really terrified me where I'm like flooring the accelerator and the car's slowing down. Oh. Something really wrong with this car. Oh. That was scary. I did it again! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I feel so dumb. The irony is that I've pulled off on this exact spot before. When I was probably like 18, like 10 years ago. And I was driving back from Queensland with my mum. And we had a fight. And so I was crying in this exact spot last time. You're safe. You're safe. probably seems really irrational like crying because my car's not working <laughs> all very stereotypical stereotypical female who's on her period <laughs> I'm on my last day I'm on well like day five so like it doesn't even really exist I just wear period panties just in case I just feel like my life's, it's not falling apart, like that's not the right word. But everything seems to be happening all at once. I keep trying to remind myself that I'm safe and acknowledge that really raw, tender, scared little child inside of me. And for whatever reason, it's just been so present and strong lately. Like I never, I, I've, I cry, right? Like I don't not cry, but I feel like recently I've just cried so easily at like everything and I'm not saying that this is an you know overreaction I, I genuinely don't think it is my nervous system is just completely shot like it's really not that daunting of a task as I'm making it out to be like all I gotta do is just drive seven hours in a car that's busted 
The annoying thing is, it's a nice car. Like, it looks really nice. I've taken care of it on the outside and I've had it checked all the time. It's just whoever fixed it once upon a time did it wrong and it's like fucked it up big time. It is very old though. Like, it has 162,000 Ks on it. Like, it's not, it's not a new car by any means. But it's nice, so it seems like a waste that I'm I'm not going to get anything for it. I'm just going to trade it in. They're probably going to be like, you have to pay us <laughs> for us to take this off your hands. I can do all this stuff. I know I can do it. I don't see why I'm making such a big deal of it. Or why it feels like, it feels so heavy and yuck and... I know I can accomplish it, but it's taking a lot of... Mm, you know what I mean? Like... I need a lot of grit to get this shit done. A lot more than I thought I would need. Let's say that much. Alright. Let's give it a whirl, hey? The hair's up because this is a serious situation now. Anyone else do that when you get serious about something? Or when you're about to, like, you know, move your body or clean the house or something? You're like, alright, shit's getting real. You know shit's gonna go down when the hair goes up. Mm. Wow. All right, thank you for bearing with me. And I'm actually proud of myself in this moment because even though that was, yes, probably a big overreaction, um, or it may seem like that to some people, it was not a panic attack. So success. Win for me. Because normally I would have had a panic attack in that situation and I was about to. And I didn't. Cool. Great. But like I swear to God, if it happens again, I'm done. Done. Fucking done. <sighs> Alright. Take. Was that the fourth time? Oh my god. Take five. <laughs> Alright, I am back on the way. I've just been to the house that I'm going to be renting out. Um, if anyone's interested, by the way, it's on the mid-north coast. I don't exactly want to say what suburb, but yeah, I guess you can like DM me on Instagram and say that you might be interested. It's going to be up for $7.70 a week. Um, partially to mostly furni or furnished, but like less furnished than I'd left it just because I don't know whether I'm going to be renting something up in Byron later this year um, I'm also still going to use like part of the house lock it off as storage not for anything like valuable or anything just like you know rugs curtains that kind of thing and um, yeah and so I really want to get a tenant in there that I can trust and that is respectful and ideally a female I don't know why that just makes me feel more comfortable and I feel like the space itself having like a pink couch and stuff like that is made for a female if you feel like that might be you and you're looking for something on the mid north coast it's not in Coffs Harbour but like around Coffs Harbour ish hit me up this is now a joke how many times I've had to pull over on the side of the highway I reckon this is number like 12 <laughs> Ugh. Three more hours, three and a half, three and a quarter, send help. That's my break. I kid you not, every single hill, every single incline, I am pedal to the metal. I am flooring the accelerator as much as I possibly can. I'm going up a hill and I go about 40 kilometers an hour, which on a highway is so freaking slow and scary. This, my friends, this stop, still on the side of a highway, by the way, very much so. Yep, um, this is number 18. Stop 18! <gasps> just appreciate that sunset though and how good good working how well working all these other how 
well all these other cars are working there we go I got there pretty pretty sunset just because mine isn't doesn't mean I can't be grateful for other people's working tell you what that is one thing that I took out of this is that I'm gonna be so grateful whenever I have a working car like so grateful I'll just be like whoa I have a car that can move me and I won't go slow on the highway what <laughs> All right, well that, my friends, is what we call an adventure of, not a lifetime, but an adventure. It was definitely an adventure. I made it, I'm currently sitting in the driveway, I just pulled up. I called Bear for the last 20 minutes because I had an emotional trip. I like imagined myself dying and all the things that I would want him to know and I ended up just like crying and sobbing in the car. <laughs> by myself <laughs> uh well <laughs> I'm tired I think it's time for bed I'm gonna go have some dinner and a cup of tea and give mum and dad a hug and then <laughs> conk out fall asleep straight away and then I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll figure out what the hell to do because this car is not gonna get me to Sydney the day after tomorrow